Hey everybody, Stacy here, Stacy Wells Artistry. And Colton. Colton's over here Hi. and he's helping me out. Um, Y'all are seeing me, I just woke up 15 minutes ago. So, no wake up and you know, the hair is the hair and that's the way it is. Um, <laughs> it's so funny, I wouldn't go out of the house, and I, well I would go out of the house like this. Um, a, a couple of stages worse than this, you know, like if the hair was worse or something like that. I might not, but yet I'm willing to talk to y'all like this. That means I'm really comfortable with y'all, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> or my laziness has reached untoward proportions. I don't know. Same. Laziness I don't know. has reached maximum laziness. Yes, I think maybe like maximum laziness is really the answer. Um, anyway, I wanted to do this video because um, I wanted to do another glass video, and um, some people were uh, interested in those, but I've been waiting to see if somebody was going to write in and tell me what particularly they wanted to look at, and I'm still waiting. I, I haven't heard from anybody uh, that was having an issue or wanted to see something. Before, when I did one of my videos, somebody wrote in and wanted some more information about this, that, or the other. Anyway, I love it when y'all do that, so um, if any of you out there are having issues or want to talk about something or whatever, please don't hesitate to uh, involve me because I like to be involved and I like to help. And uh, if I can, you know, uh, I'm, you know, um, so what I wanted to show you, to tell you, the reason I decided to do this video is, um, I, that's what I was getting at, uh, is because I've discovered this new product. And uh, I'm not getting paid to advertise for them or anything. I don't know anything about them, but I bought this. It is Classic 100 Gel Flux. And you can get it on Amazon. I bought it at uh, a stained glass shop in Bossier that's wonderful. And I will endorse them, even though they don't pay me to either. But if you're anywhere around Bossier City, Ed's Emporium is a wonderful place to buy glass. They have everything. That beautiful glass. I'll show you some of it on here um, on this piece that I'm working on. Um, but I wanted to use this gel flux and do some soldering um, and, um, you know, video that. That way, you know, um, we could get a little soldering work in and uh, y'all could see how the gel flux works um, and see if you like it. Because um, I have always used. Um, here's Colton. Say hi. Hey guys. Colton just finished eating nachos. He wants to say hi. Tell him about your channel. Subscribe to my channel too and watch the awesome knitting videos if you like them. Okay. Thank you, Colton. Um, I put it in this little jar right here when I'm working. That's my flux jar. It kind of needs to be cleaned. It's grosser on the top, but it's clean in the bottom. Anyway, um, and uh, you, <coughs> I use it same way I use the uh, other flux. I use a brush. This is an old paintbrush that I use to put it on. And uh, so I use it just the same way. Um, there weren't any directions on it. I tried to Google to see if you were supposed to do anything different. You know, like dilute it or do anything like that. There's nothing like that on out. So I'm assuming that, you know, this is what you do. Um, I hate to use the word assume because that always means that, you know, you know what the saying is anyway. But it works good this way, uh, very well this way. Um, and so I, th I'm a, I'm, I think I'm safe in making that assumption, in other words. Um, I have, if, if you are out there and you've used it and you do something different with it, please let me know because um, I'm interested in that. But um, I like the way this works, doing it this way. And... Um, what I will tell you about it, um, from my limited experience, is that, um, to me, it just makes my solder line smoother, um, and it makes the, um, well, you have longer to get to it, like, it, it since it's gel, you know, it doesn't evaporate as quickly, and so you use less of it, because I tend to, a lot of times, slap a bunch of flux on there and then I can't get to all those areas. You know, I, my, my, I think I'm going to be able to do more than I can. And um, so it helps with that. But um, let me just let y'all see. And uh, if I think of something else to tell you, I'll, I will. Ooh, boy, that moved fast. 
Alright, I gotta get you down where y'all can um, see up close. I'm using the, the big tripod today, and uh, the big tripod has lots of little knobs. Whoa. Also, by the way, it's taped on there. Yeah. So it's hard for a pair to actually do stuff. Well, it doesn't want to come down any further, but it's going to have to. Ooh. Oh, I know how I can do it. I can just let it do what it's doing. It wants to spread those legs out. Let it do that. Okay. That's my phoenix rising. You're sitting on the butterfly. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> you just run okay. away. Now, I'm just going to, I hope you can see well, I'm going to do these edges uh, over here close to you. And this class I got there at that place, and it's gorgeous. It looks just like fire. I bought this there. I bought this there. Um... Yeah, those are examples of the colors that I got at that place. Uh, it's Emporium. <coughs> because it's really neat. They have some neat glass. Alright. Let me just get a little bit of this on here. See if y'all can see. And just, uh, you know, dab it on there. I will tell you, this is not my best work. There's some gaps in this. Um, I don't know why. I got lazy, I guess. Um, it's not my best work as far as the spacing over there. Um, I, I don't know. Anyway, and I'm not going to... This is already pinned on the outside uh, to hold the pieces together, so I'm not going to do this, put a little spot, the... Um, you know, uh, tacking, you know, I'm not going to do that on this part because these, um, these don't tend to move, but see how smooth that line is? Whoa, they don't blob there. That's okay. We'll smooth them in. Fix that right there. Okay. See, um, I think it makes your solder lines, um, Smoother. See that gap there? That's bad. I don't know why I got in a hurry with this, but I did. But see, it's not the greatest spacing of lining up. But you can see what I want you to see, which is how well this the solder adheres. Um, You know, there's cats here. We got seven cats here. I don't, I don't there's always a cat making a noise somewhere. Yeah, I got my own cat, which I have not showed you all yet. She does not like to be picked up. Mm -mm. But she might show you a picture while she's doing her video. Or, I don't have a picture of that cat. Yes, but the problem is you can't just show it. No, she ain't going to come in here and be on camera. She's not. Taking a nap anyway. She's very shy. All right. Are you getting a feel for this? Let me do. I'll do a little bit more. Oh boy, I just swung slaughter off on the chair. Oh no. Oh well. Uh, it happens. Things happen when I get to working. It's just part of it. This is better over here. The line problem. I don't know why I was in such a hurry, but we can do this right now. Because her assistant is going to bring you a roll of candy. Colton, please quit. We don't need that. It's just that I'm your assistant. Yeah, you are. Colton and I have been working on a project for school. 
I've been painting little Indians. Yes. Those little plastic Indians we used to get when we were kids that came in the big bags and stuff. They're hard to find now. Um, you gonna bring them over here so I can show it to them? Bring me one of the bring me one of them Indians over here. Now that little space there, I think didn't get enough looks on here's it. Here's one of the Indians. See, here's one of my Indians that we did. They were originally green, as you can tell by the bottom. Yep, yeah, they they were originally all different wild colors, and um, we had to paint them. I just decided to do them around. Yeah, see, this doesn't have any flux on it. On this, I didn't go that far over, so that's why that's jamming up right there. Just that. Yeah. So we got little animals, not including. Oh yeah, show them the animals. Oh, I, not I'm, including buffalo, but. Uh, animals in the last. See, look, I got these at Hobby Lobby. Yeah. They're little critters. Uh, pigs, cows, horses. There's a little farmer in there. We don't need him, but. Anyway, um. Yeah, it's the Caddo Indians. The project we're working on. Yes. And. You might not be able to see, but we also have a teepee and a campfire. Yeah, I made a teepee. That doesn't have any solder on it right there either. Yes. So we got it. I tend to do that. I'll forget what I put solder on and what I didn't. See, I need to put some solder on that. And that makes it smush down like that. And it looks crazy. And you think, oh, shit, what did I do? But it's okay. It all smooths out. Now, I know I put solder on this big line coming up here. And we got Play-Doh to build fire. Yeah, that's our Play-Doh fire. Then, the TP does. See how smooth this goes in? Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That's a nice solder line right there. Oh, yeah, it is. It's very thick and, and not touching the glass. It's very thick and it's uh, nice and round. Yes. And here's the... The teepee. I made the teepee. <laughs> the teepee's kind of pathetic, but I did the best I could. <laughs> Hashtag pathetic. It's not. Nice. It's good. I did good. Yes, but... All right. That actually looks like a good one. Not gonna lie. All right, guys. We're going to do these two lines down here at the bottom. And then I think that's good. You can get an idea. Um, but if you're if you're into stained glass or you're doing some, try this stuff out. Um... You know, I like it much better. Uh, I think it, um, mainly because of the smoothness with which it goes on. Look at that. It just, you know. Look at those lines. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay. All right. Mind if the sound from Murder Mystery Room? Just give me a minute, Colton. I want me on. Okay. I don't want any noise in the background. They need to be able to hear. Okay. okay just, just don't do anything. Okay, there we go. Um, now, um, I'm going to take a break from soldering and talk for just a minute because I wanted to show you. Um, I don't know if y'all um, like... Um, you know, putting embellishments and stuff in your pieces. Um, I do. And um, I wanted to show you a couple of ones I found. This one's up from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. And I have another one of these. Um, I Here it is. Right there. So I'm going to use those two in something. I have a whole jar over here. A whole, it's that big, a jar of things from Hobby Lobby that I used, but I also ordered these from Amazon. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? There's three of them. And I'm gonna, they're flat enough that I can work them into a piece. And then I have these geodes. Um, one of these I bought, I'll show you all of them. There's one, the white one. She also got a geo for me. That's like, right. It's free. In Colorado. Instead of two dimensional watch, you made them. Like that. Please. And this one I bought in Colorado with my other son. So it's special. So it's going to go in a special place. Um, but I bought all those and I'm going to incorporate those somehow. And um, when you see the. I'm going to take y'all off this thing. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Now, you can see the Phoenix. And now you can see the butterfly. 
somewhat. I mean, I know that camera's on top of it, but see this over here? I'll show you up close how it looks. It's not completely finished. I'm not done soldering that wing. Uh, there. Let me show you the Phoenix up close. It's not done either, of course. But I'll show you kind of up closer what, so you can kind of get a better look. This glass is amazing. When you see it up in the light, this black, what looks black here, is really um, kind of a golden red color. Um, when I do, when I get it finished and I can hold it up, I'll take another, I'll show another picture. But I love this smoky glass right here. Because that's what it looks like to me, smoke. And that's what's down in here in these little creases, in those little cracks between the fire, is that smoky glass. And um, I think um, I think it's going to look cool when I'm done with it. Um, but I'll take another video of both of these pieces um, and show y'all the finished products because I think that's important to do for people. All right, y'all have a cool day and enjoy yourselves. And uh, let me know if you want to talk about anything, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you are working on something and you're having difficulty and you like the way I did something, please let me know. Um, that is filthy dirty right there. I know and I'm sorry, but it's all a work in progress right now, so I'll get to it. Um, Colton, you want to say something? Sub please subscribe and hit the notification bell to all on our channel. Yeah, we like it when people do that because um, we're trying to grow our channels and it helps yes. us. Unlike Tico. It's, it's helps us. AKA the popular YouTuber. All right, yeah, we're not the popular ones, no, but we're trying. We're doing the best we can. And uh, we love our subscribers and we love people that watch our videos and, and, and really love people to stop by and say hi and tell us what's going on. So anyway, if, there, if you have anything you want to work on or any questions, please uh, feel free to ask me because I'm totally accessible and I love helping people. All right. Um, Y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy the video. See you. Bye. All right. Bye.